Here are three restaurants you need to eat at if you are visiting Berlin. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I have been to Berlin and I ate all the vegan food. And there are so many vegan restaurants in Berlin that I just scratched the surface. Here is a list of all the vegan restaurants that you need to eat at. I'm just gonna cover three of them because yeah, I was there for three days. That's all the time I had, all right? I went to Plant Base for a nice name. They got this really nice hip vibe to it. And you can tell that this is a healthy place, all right? With a lot of vegan food. There are a lot of fast food restaurants uh, with a lot of falafels and stuff like that. And that's great. Hey, I'm not complaining, but sometimes you just want some healthy stuff, you know? I went with the salmon bagel. When I was a child, I really liked salmon. I like this cold pickled, not pickled really, but this cold smoked salmon stuff. And uh, I'm vegan now, so uh, I don't really want to eat it but I like the taste and this bagel, it got the job done, all right? It wasn't salmon per se, but it tasted like salmon, got the flavor, so it was nice. So it was made of this marinated carrot and then it got some capri and some dill and it was pretty tasty. And also I got a cappuccino with it. I know, I know, I'm trying to quit coffee, but it's so difficult. It's so integrated into my culture of coffee, all right? And I've been drinking coffee for a long time, but um, anyhow, that's for another story, another video. Cappuccino was good. Uh, I got it with oat milk. Bagel was 6.5 euros and the cappuccino was 3 euros. A bit expensive uh, with the thought that it was just like a bagel I ate nothing more but still nonetheless it was good and so yay anyhow they got a lot of stuff they got like a tofu scramble that is supposed to resemble eggs and a lot of plates like granola bowl porridge a lot of good stuff and then they got coffee and a lot of juices a lot of smoothies and stuff to drink one thing i found it funny is like plant-based is kind of like a community all right uh, they got a lot of workshops i saw they got a kimchi workshop on how to make your own kimchi and you know i'm a sucker for kimchi i love kimchi i'm uh, always trying to have some kimchi at home even though no i haven't done some kimchi in a while but i love kimchi i love making it at home so i was pleasantly surprised to see that they got workshops on that and also they get a book club i believe they meet every thursday uh, and they read a book about the theme of veganism now i'm kind of mad that i don't live in berlin because like the vegan community is so nice, so big there. So the opening times for this restaurant, I believe they open at 9 a.m. and then close at 5 and some days they are open to 8. And also Monday and Tuesdays they are closed. I find that a lot of places in Berlin are closed on like Mondays and Tuesdays. I don't know, I was supposed to go to a cat cafe. It was closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. I was supposed to go to a kombucha bar. It was closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. What is that? People work Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. Why isn't it open? That's like my only complaint. Next place I want to mention is Rummy Balls Donuts. Donuts. Y'all, donuts. I haven't eaten a donut in like forever. I mean, certainly like 10 years. These donuts, they are vegan. I mean, damn. Look at all the different donuts. We got a lot of different kinds of donuts. We got some basic like sugar donuts and they got a lot of uh, flavors like lemon lavender, white chocolate and strawberries. I mean, how good doesn't that sound? Personally, I went with the blueberry lemon cheesecake and it was fabulous. It was so good. I also drank a kombucha with that. A kombucha is my glass of wine when I want to uh, calm down. So for the donut, it was 2.9 euros and for the kombucha, it was 3.5. So that totals up to 6.4 for a snack. Yeah, that's basically what it costs like kombucha and a donut. So yeah, I'm not complaining. It was super tasty. Remember donuts? It is a chain. I believe there are like five, six, five places in Berlin uh, where you can eat some vegan donuts. And uh, that's amazing. And when I was there, it was quite a bit of people. I mean, it was like 2 p.m. Uh, on a Wednesday. I was there. No, it wasn't a Tuesday. I was there. 
I believe there are a lot more people during the weekends. Not only vegans can visit this place. I mean, if there is a donut shop uh, where I live and I was not vegan, I would totally go there because where I live, um, there's really not any donut place at all. So, all right. So, I'm Parame Balls Donuts. They are open pretty much every day. So usually they open at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and they are open to 9 p.m. And um, I was pleasantly surprised, like 9 p.m. Not a lot of cafes are open until 9 p.m. So that's great. If you want to just go and have dinner and then go and have some desserts. So yeah. I recommend Bramaval Donuts. If you are in Berlin, go and visit the donut place. All right, so next up, the last place I wanna mention is Werner. It's a vegan kebab place. How nice is that? I was boring and I ate a kebab and a Fritz cola. It was pretty nice, not the best kebab I've eaten. Nonetheless, it was pretty good and got a nice crispy bread and a lot of sauces. It's some kebab, not the best kebab I said, but it was pretty good. I mean, for five euros, it's totally worth it. So yeah, the kebab was five euros and the Coke was uh, 2.5 euros, which totals to 7.5 euros. And uh, that's completely fine for a dinner, all right? And this Werner place, they open at noon and then they close at 10 p.m. So they are also closed at Fridays. I don't know what happens on Fridays. They want to party. The stuff. I don't know. And uh, yeah, but they are closed Fridays. Yeah, I think this is more of a dinner place instead of a lunch place because they open that late. All right, so they got some different stuff. They got, obviously, they got a kebab and then they also got a tulum wrap and some more like plated stuff, french fries and kebab and a lot of sauces, as I said. They got some burgers also. Those are the three restaurants I recommend to you if you are visiting Berlin. I think Bramibald Donuts, you absolutely need to visit. They got a lot of different donuts, all vegan, completely vegan. A pretty good dessert snack. That's all I got for you. I was supposed to go to a lot more restaurants, but a lot of restaurants, they were closed at like Mondays and Tuesdays. And I was there from Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So go figure. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.